Hi, it's about 975 and welcome to Early Dangerous on the Xbox One. And today I've got some fun clips for you from the CG. Uh, this is the most recent CG, which is uh, food and bounty hunting um, being taken up there. And I've been having fun in Sirius the whole time the CG's been going on. Um, there was this commander who very kindly dropped me some fish. So I have something for Flipper when he's now commenting first to reward him. And uh, there was one thing I had to say to this commander, really. And thanks for all the fish. Given how busy the CG was, I've got to say it looks like the Game Pass uh, people are having an effect. There was a lot of commanders and Cobras, etc., which was really nice to see. Uh, we have lost a few commanders at the top end because of the Odyssey issues. The fact Odyssey is being delayed on Xbox means a lot of people are migrating over to PC, which is a shame. I'm thankful to this commander for providing animal meat. Because uh, it means I can feed the wife and children. If I can only remember what prehistoric planet I dumped the lads on. But you know, they're growing boys, they're going to love the meat. 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 With the amount of people I robbed, I did rack up quite a significant bounty, and it wasn't too long before a bounty hunter decided to see if he could uh, claim the prize. Uh, luckily for him, I'm not in the killy mood when I'm out robbing, um, so I just set about disabling him and letting him go. I mean, he had no cargo, I have no interest. It is always a fun encounter when you get bounty hunter or police versus pirate. Um, our pirate ships aren't the best in combat because there's a lot of sacrifices you have to make for pirate equipment. I mean, I've got a lot less hull on this thing than most people's combat crates. One day I might have to build a full-on combat crate because it is a really, really great ship. Either one of them, to be honest. 1v1, they're really good. The Python's a really good 1v1. Uh, just not so good in wing fights, but they're definitely 1v1. Um, my Mamba really struggles against them, especially the Biweef shield builds that, you know, really hull tanky ones because they're basically heavier than me. <laughs> And with the amount of banks and the distributor, they have all the advantages. Um, but, you know, I honestly, I don't know why people still fly the Chieftain. I feel sorry for this guy because uh, he should really have taken notice of his drive just getting absolutely destroyed by missiles. Anyway, one sec, let's change the music and keep this video rolling. Honestly, it was great seeing all the new faces at the CG. I think it's an amazing thing for the game. Um, I'm very happy the game's come to Game Pass and given it a boost. If we can sustain the interest is going to be the, the long-term story. I'm hoping that I can bring people some interesting stuff because there's a lot of stuff goes on in this game that doesn't really get highlighted enough, I don't feel. Um, you know, and I really want to highlight and show people there is stuff that goes on in-game that they can involve themselves with. Some massive things that happen in-game that keep thousands of players entertained but barely get to mention by a lot of the creators that are out there for Elite Dangerous. Um, you know, it, immersive stuff, fun, engaging stuff, stuff that people take sometimes a little too seriously, it's got to be said. Um, but you take, for example, the war between Seventh Legion and IED. That's been raging on since September. It's, for me, it's actually been mostly a fun event. There has been some negatives, I'm not going to lie. But it has been a fun event. It's, I've engaged in a lot of PvP. I've learned a hell of a lot about BGS. And thanks to the knowledge I learned about BGS, because trying to do anything against that massive BGS squad is almost impossible. Um, but the skills I learned are the skills that I'm now applying to our pirate protection insurance. And we took down a billion credits uh, in the last, well, in March so far. And we're on the 7th. We've already taken down a billion credits as a group thanks to PPI. So, huge thank you to IED for teaching me, uh, well, forcing me to learn stuff about BGS and player factions and how to manipulate it a bit quicker than I used to. Um, it's all been fun and engaging. I'm gonna leave you now with me and Scooby conducting a bit of piracy. And I know I should get a keyboard. You guys always tell me whenever you see me typing in games. Um, and when I move to my new property, I might actually have space for one. But at the moment with all the chickens running around, it just gets destroyed. to stop doing that on the turn I lose so much loot. come on finally got on it yeah it's type 7 
the last two attempts on a Type 7 with dumped his normal space. I did GG the guy, like, yeah, I did GG the guy, that was that one in uh, Seos. Like, GG, good escape, well played. <laughs> I did tell him I'm only here to pirate, so I will try again, but I'm not, I'm not going to hurt you, I'm literally going after some of you cargo, and then he told me he was doing missions for the Fed ranks, or like, after the harassing next mission cargo. Is he stopping? Carrying uh, wine, 164 tons of wine. Next up. Uh, if we could have 20, could you do a message for 20? Yeah, he's stopping. I'm trying to line up on him. <laughs> Alright, so we go. Oh, no, 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 Set his FSD again. Why don't I just hit the cell banks? Oh, I got sick limpets on this. I pressed the wrong button, I thought I was on the wrong fire group. Collect Olympic Spine. I'm just collecting them. Why are my lipids expiring? Target cargo dropped. He's not trying to jump out, he's got his hard point something. 